You know, our Ferris Lab project within uh, OPNFV is, a, and I think it's one of the coolest things we do, where people uh, uh, like HPE uh, bring labs to the project with resources and lab management skills so that we can deploy the our software in a bunch of different environments and on a bunch of different hardware and hardware architectures so that you know, we ensure that the software that we're working on is fully you know, portable and can work in a lot of different environments. So it's it's one of the, the coolest things about our project. They're connected in automated ways via Jenkins and um, I'm really excited that uh, y'all are, are bringing one in and bringing in your expertise. We've been working in this ecosystem and um, building our labs, testing in our labs for some time now. Um, and then when OPNFV was formed, obviously we are part of OPNFV, we are uh, an active member, but because we had already started internally doing things uh, in our own way, it took a little while to uh, really make sure how we need to bring what we have been doing back into the community. So uh, rather than trying to stop and restart things, we're just letting things proceed in parallel and meanwhile figuring out how do we bring our own testing uh, experience in back into the open source. And this is the time where they've come together. We've been able to marshal the resources, configure the things appropriately so that now we can be part of the Ferris Lab. But the intention was always there. Here at the OPNFE Summit, we are showing a VNF onboarding uh, demo and the uh, goal of this demo is to use uh, you know, uh, open source uh, tools created in OPNFE and how we are using that for our own OpenNFE onboarding at the same time doing it for OPNFE as well. So this impacts the industry in multiple ways. So you know, we are talking about ecosystem benefits here. Uh, from an OPNFE standpoint, you know, we are using uh, OPNFE uh, onboarding tools as part of the open NFV onboarding process as well. For example, we are using the parser, we are using Functus, and we are also uh, you know, going to be doing it on the uh, uh, Pharos lab that uh, HPE announced uh, uh, recently. Uh, so in the sense, it expands the scope of OPNFE because it allows the onboarding process of OPNFE uh, to happen on two ecosystems, on HPE's uh, open NFE ecosystem, at the same time OPNFE as well. So the key message about this uh, POC really is that we have a huge partner ecosystem and as you can see there are a very, very large number of partners and but they share the same you know open dilemma as we call it uh, which is you know how do we participate in multiple ecosystems uh, but still you know ensure that you, you have the highest quality because we are all strapped for resources we are all pressed for uh, uh, in ensuring our engineers are you know, do, doing the right thing. Uh, so HPE took this as an opportunity and what we are offering to our uh, partner ecosystem is basically is uh, this method by which they can uh, be sure that they are both OPNFV compliant as well as OpenNFV ready. A basic VNF uh, vendor can give his uh, VNF details, general details about the VNF itself uh, in this particular tab. When you move into uh, each VNFC, he also has a, uh, can describe the, all the general information along with he, the resources he wants to give for the VNFCs itself, the VNF components. But once all the resources are filled in, uh, the VNF vendor can export that VNF descriptor file into a local repository. Once the export is complete, uh, this would show a simple network topology of how the VNFCs are connected. For the demo, we are using Clearwater, which is a VIMS. Uh, tool provided by Metaswitch, which is also open source uh, VIMS. So this would be the network topology of the Clearwater itself, which is launched on uh, a single network with multiple VNFCs. So once the ver verification of the network, network topology is done, we move into the deployment part. So where uh, we have a deployment mapper tab, where the VNF vendor can select which VNF he wants to deploy and uh, on which environment he wants to deploy and which VNF descriptor he wants to select from the exported VNF descriptors. So he gets to select which environment. So as I previously I was saying, there are two workflows to go out with it, either with the Feroz workflow or with the HPE Open NFE workflow. Uh, once the environment is selected, the onboarding tool fetches the details of the environment and uh, puts it onto the onboarding tool UI itself, where, where the vendor can select which network he wants to deploy it on, with, with what flavor and on which availability zone he wants to deploy the VNFCs. 
So once the details have been filled in, the user can start the validation process. So once the validation process begins, we move into the uh, open stack of the Feroz Lab itself, where this particular stack would be deployed with the Clearwater VNFCs. All the Clearwater VNFCs would be uh, deployed here with generating, creating of volumes and then attaching those volumes into the instances itself. And once the instantiation is done, we move into the uh, installation of Clearwater itself, which is done through Cloud and its scripts. So once the Clearwater installation is complete, the func test comes into picture for testing the Clearwater uh, functionality. So functionality of uh, the Clearwater would include a basic zip call and a registration of a client. So that's what the func test would uh, do the test. So once the deployment is complete, the we move into another simple HTML uh, page where we can see the live test being uh, started. The live test is also provided by Clearwater which uh, does the Clearwater live test scenarios which is also uh, provided by Metaswitch for Funk test to uh, test the validation of a VNS. So once the Clearwater live test begins, we get to the results of the uh, Clearwater live test which is uh, generated in a form of a report. So this report includes a basic registration of a client and a basic zip call between two clients. Once this uh, report is generated, we get to see the results of it and verify if it's the validation is successful or not.